this is a short tutorial to show you how to use your junk mail uh, options uh, to filter out junk. Uh, Outlook has junk mail functions to filter out junk mail. For instance, if I was to want to uh, block an email address from sending me spam mail, I could easily block it. I will just use an example down here. As an example, here is a mail from DigiCape. They're not spamming me, but I will just use them as an example. And if I want to block them from sending me mail, I would right click on it. I would go to Junk Mail Folder and I would go to Block Sender. The sender, it says the sender of the selected messages has been added to your block senders list and the message has been moved to the junk email folder. You'll notice that as I click OK, the mail disappears and it ends up in junk mail. Let's go into junk mail here. Now you notice that this has been automatically moved. If I want to refine it uh, and send out uh, block entire domains or especially if spammers send out mail and they change the email addresses every time they send then uh, you can use wildcarding to uh, block entire domains as an example here's digicape uh, they are not spammers i'm just using them as, as an example i will put them back as normal acceptable mail uh, you can right click on it and on the mail and go to junk and then go down to email options. Now it's important that you notice the settings that I've got here. By default, Outlook is set up to be either low or no automatic filtering. I always set it to high. Um, and I also always disable links and under functionality and I always warn me my, I ask to, for Outlook to warn me about suspicious domain names. So make sure that it's set to this. Under safe senders that's quite useful especially if you want to allow an entire domain uh, to mail you it's all completely safe. Block senders this is where the fun and game starts. You'll notice that I have got some strange addresses down here and if you notice down the bottom you'll notice that there's all various emails that have addresses that I have received over the years that have spammed me. Now as an example um, let me just see if I can find the email address for you. Okay, as you can see here, there's the DigiCape address has been blocked in the online team. Now, if they change the address to, let's say, um, uh, sales at digicape.co.za, if they you, if you get mail from sales, it will not be blocked because you only blocked online team. If you want to block the entire domain, what you do is you click on it, you edit it, and then you take out the entire part of the address before the at key. There we are, like that, you say OK, you apply it, and now the entire domain of DigiCape will be, all their mails will end up the, as blocked. Something I found very useful as well under international is that I can block uh, top level domain lists. In other words, for instance, here are all the top level lists you'll notice Zimbabwe, Zambia, South Africa, uh, some of our favorite spammers, for instance, here we are, Korea, uh, Romania, Russia, and today's current favorite, which is uh, UA, Ukraine. Now, you can actually switch on entire the you can block entire countries. You'll notice that I am blocking everything except for Z, .za. Basically, that's it. Now, this works quite well for me. 
this is not really acceptable, especially if you obtain or you get regular mail from, for instance, uh, United Arab Emirates. You've got uh, clients there or you got, you're doing medical research or something like that and one of your clients or one of your email addresses uh, comes from the United Arab Emirates. So it would not work if you block the entire domain. So just be very careful about what countries you block. Uh, the second one which is also very useful, especially if spammers use foreign languages, is that I block all the languages uh, like Vietnamese, Turkish, Thai, Korean, etc., except for Latin 3, Latin 9, ISO, and USA, ASCII, and Western European. That means that most of the mail using foreign languages or encoding for foreign languages, like Central European or Cyrillic, which is Russian, uh, will also be blocked. Uh, so you can also set that up to block. Once you apply it, of course, then it will, you know, it, it will block up most of the stuff. And uh, that is basically what I do to, to set up my junk mail. I hope this helps. This tutorial helps you. Uh, best of luck, and uh, goodbye.